Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Mrs. Smith88. So today I have a small candle haul for you guys. These are the Homeworks candles. You can find them, I believe, at HSN or QVC, as well as Ulta Beauty. They are made by Harry Slacken, who also makes the Scentworks candles. I have had the Scentworks candles. I do purchase those at Kohl's when they're on sale. And I do love the burn and throw of those candles, but I have been wanting to try some scent works, but the price point of these candles is just a little bit out of my budget. So these candles are typically $25 and up. The ones at Ulta are $25. The ones that are through QVC or HSN are as high as $40 each. So that is a little bit too bougie for my budget. I usually don't really like spending over $10 on a candle unless I know that it's going to be a quality candle. So like I said, these were $25 each at Ulta. These were seasonal scents that went out of season because it's nearly winter time. So these did get marked down to $12.50 at Ulta. They had about five cents that went on clearance. I did grab three of them. One of them ended up uh, being out of stock that I wanted. That's why I only got three. And the fifth one just really did not appeal to me. So let me jump in and get started and show you guys what I got. So we're gonna start with this one. This one is Mandarin and Pink Grapefruit. And I love the detail of the wraps on these candles. These wraps are just so vivid and realistic. Not to mention, I love the jars. These jars are super heavy and weighty. Um, Harry Slacken used to actually make the candles for Bath and Body Works. So if you are a Bath and Body Works lover, you are going to love the Homeworks and Scentworks candles. You will find that a lot of scents kind of cross over and smell a lot like others. So let me go ahead and read the scent description on this one. This is Mandarin Pink Grapefruit, which is Mandarin Pink Grapefruit, Orange Peel, and White Amber. And I was trying to find the ounces on this candle earlier, and I did not see it. Although, is that it? Yeah, there we go. 18 ounces. So this is an 18-ounce candle. I think that's just a touch bigger than a Bath & Body Works. I think Bath & Body Works is either like 14 or 16 ounces. This does have a burn time of 30 to 55 hours. What I was surprised by is, let me go ahead and pop the lid on Mandarin and Pink Grapefruit here to show you guys, is that these are four wicks. So they are not a three wick candle, they are a four wick. Because of how wide the opening is, I assume is why they did four wicks. That way it would completely pull out. So I could smell this candle just sitting back here without even having my nose over it. I definitely feel I get more of the white amber smell. It smells almost like a um, peach and a white clove from Swan Creek Candle. The name was eluding me. Swan Creek Candle does a scent called... Um, white peach and clove and oh my goodness it is like one of my favorites so I definitely feel like I get the white amber in here with those citrusy notes super super pretty scent I might end up having buyer's remorse not buying more of these like maybe getting doubles but I did want to give them a try and I'm just trying to be reasonable in how many candles I purchase at a time that way I can actually work through my stash and not end up having more candles than I'll actually ever burn. I mean, the facts are the facts. I probably will have more candles than I'll, than I'll ever burn in a lifetime, but I do enjoy purchasing them and burning them and, re and reviewing them. So let's go ahead and move on to the next one. This is Bahama Breeze. And like I said, the wraps on these are visually stunning. So, um, I was hoping that this would smell like Bath & Body Works Bahama Fizz. And color-wise, for some reason, I thought on the website it was the same. For some reason, I thought this candle was blue, but it's actually green in color. So, we're going to try to read the scent description. They had tape over this with bubble wrap. 
So we got that it is Tahitian vanilla, ripe mango, and kiwi. So we know it has those kind of notes in there. We are missing part of the scent description. And that's my first time actually ever reading the scent description. I smelled this as soon as it came without reading the scent description. And I instantly got kiwi. So this did not smell like Bahama Fizz from Bath and Body Works. I miss Bahama Fizz. I'd really like to have some Bahama Fizz back in my life. The Bath and Body Works candle sale is coming up. So it's, I think, the second week, 12th, 13th, and 14th of December. You know I'm going to be hauling some candles. I'm going to try to be modest and keep it reasonable, but you know I'm going to be hauling some candles. So like I said, I instantly get the kiwi in this one. Do I get the Tahitian vanilla? No, I definitely get the mango. So I, I definitely get the mango and the kiwi in this one. Once again, I really, really like this one. Smells super fragrant. I think it's going to be a wonderful burner. Now, whether I will get to these before summer or not is another thing. I do tend to burn summery scents in my bedroom year round. Like, I don't know if you guys can see there. Excuse my mess. The drawer is open and that kind of stuff. But there is a Yankee candle there. And I think that is like flowers in the sun. So that's usually my little burn space that I keep in the bedroom here where I just always have a candle going. Messy, messy, messy bedroom. I know. So then, last but not least, this is Guava Sunset. So I love Guava Sunset. And I, I just can't get over these labels. These labels are absolutely beautiful on these. They truly are a showcase piece to have. Sitting out, like, I could see somebody be like, oh, where did you get that? What does that smell like if you don't have it burning and so forth? So the scent description on this one is pink guava, juicy nectarine, fresh papaya, and coconut water. So all those scents are right up my alley. Gorgeous lavender color. You guys know I'm a purple person through and through. I cannot say it enough. I love purple. And this reminds me of a fruity floral. I feel like I got some floral notes in there even though they're not listed. And this one kind of just leaves me a little bit on the speechless side because I have a hard time explaining it because it just smells so, so good. Uh, if you catch these on sale at your Ulta, I definitely recommend picking them up. I will have a more in-depth review as I burn them and they make, them in, make it into my empties. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you for watching and bye everyone.